Hello, you're watching Telecom TV. I'm Guy Daniels, Director of Content. Service Assurance has long been a highly skilled, costly function situated within a CSP's network operations centre. But in the cloud-enabled network era, a more effective, economical and future-proof approach is required. By leveraging its SimWorld platform, Rakuten Symphony has created a new offering to meet these evolving demands. Well, joining me on the program today to explain more is Nari Narayana, who is Managing Director and President of Rakuten Symphony. Hello, Nari, good to see you, and thanks so much for taking part in our program today. Now, you are responsible for all intelligent operations applications in SimWorld. Can you tell us what that means? Well, thank you, Guy, and good to be here. Uh, see, if you look at the history of transformation of telco industry, it usually has taken almost 10 to 15 years to adapt any new technology. Take, for example, 1G to 2G, 2G to 3G, 3G to 4G. It has taken almost 10 years for these transformation to happen. On the other hand, other technology industries like you know, mobile, mobile phones, mobile applications, enterprise applications, or other software, they usually take around six months to 12 months for any new transformation to happen. Now, with the new technology, new industry booming like this, it's extremely you know, unfortunate and unacceptable for telco industry to take so long. Now, there are several factors for this slow transformation in telco industry. Number one, it's extremely, you know, capital and operational expenses are very high. The hardware and software are highly customized. It's mostly hardware centric. And most importantly, most of the operations are manual. So this has put, you know, telecom industry in a very, very difficult situation. Now, all of this changed recently when Rockton Mobile launched world's first fully virtual cloud native open RAN network in Japan and launched 4G and 5G services for millions of people in just 18 months. Imagine launching an entirely new network with 4G and 5G services for millions of people in 18 months. It's unbelievable. Now, the power behind this is SimWorld. SimWorld is an intelligent cloud native, cloud agnostic platform of products that basically provides products for uh, network carriers to plan, build, operate, and manage their networks in the most efficient manner. Now, there are three major pillars in SimWorld. Number one, edge technology-based cloud that is best in the industry that enhances the network for scale and speed. Uh, then open RAN technology, which is disaggregated, that reduces the capex considerably. And most importantly, automation. The suit of products that you know, that basically brings together in SIM world, reduces the operational expenditure drastically, as well as automates a lot of operations by making sure that the transformation happens very, very quickly. So SIM world basically addresses, you know, multiple concerns of telcos. Number one, it reduces the CAPEX and OPEX by almost 30%. It increases the speed of deployment of services uh, and other functions in record time. And also it reduces the human intervention for all the operations by making things automated. Now with this, SimWorld is a, a new era for telecom industry. Intelligent operations is part of uh, SimWorld that basically has products for planning, building, operating, as well as managing a network. All the products in intelligent operations are cloud agnostic, cloud native, as well as microservices based. What this makes uh, intelligent operations very unique is it's very easy for our products to be adapted to not just greenfield operators but also for brownfield operators. So I'm super excited you know with the intelligent operations the way products are being built and multiple solutions that we are going to offer that will transform the telecom industry. Well thanks for that overview Noreen. Now, service assurance is one solution set offered by SimWorld. It's also a, a very mature part of current telco OSS. So why the need for a new approach to service assurance? This is a very great question, uh, Guy, actually. During the early days of my career, it was okay and it was acceptable to basically fix a problem in a couple of days, a couple of weeks, and sometimes a couple of months as well. It was totally acceptable. This was like, you know, uh, many, many years ago. But with the introduction of cloud, AI and ML and new technologies and the advancement that we have seen in the technology itself, this is totally unacceptable. 
when a network is live in production, making sure that it's available 100% of the time is the most important task for any network. Because any downtime in live network is basically loss of revenue and loss of consumers. This is completely unacceptable. So service assurance when the network is live is absolutely the most important function. It's okay to take a couple of weeks delays in planning and building a network but once the build is when the once the network is built and live service assurance is the core now simworld op offers simops which is our service assurance solution which has several products that basically focuses on fault performance and configuration and observability of a network and make sure that you know the uh, uh, the the network is maintained 100% live as well as problems are addressed very, very quickly. Now with our SIM ops, we have seen tremendous improvement, tremendous you know, results in Rockton Mobile. There is a 70% reduction in configuration mistakes. There is a 30% reduction in trouble tickets. There is almost 40% increase the resource efficiency. The SLA adherence is almost like 99.999%. So service assurance is the function that basically makes sure the users are getting 100% service at all times. So, you know, this is why I think our service uh, assurance solution, which is called CMOPS, is so critical in our uh, product portfolio. And uh, I'm extremely happy. I'm extremely happy that, you know, we launched this service recently and it is being used in Rockton Mobile and several other carriers. Now, within Service Assurance, you offer an observability platform. Can you elaborate on the importance of observability in next generation Service Assurance? Absolutely. So when a network is live, problems can occur in transport, network data, security or application layers. Problems can come from anywhere. And like I said, Service, assur uh, service Assurance is the most important function that takes care of the network. And so far, what we have seen in the industry is, you know, service assurance modules of legacy applications, as well as some of the other products, they focus on some specific functions, for example, network or applications. But the observability framework that we have built basically focuses on 360 degrees of monitoring and observability. Now, what we are looking at is all the layers of the network and look at their fault, performance, configuration, as well as many other factors where we can actually you know, identify, detect problems and address them very, very quickly. With automation combined, as well as AI and data platform that we have built for the observability platform, uh, it's a tremendous combination of maintaining and operating and managing a network. But can a CSP adopt parts of your service assurance solution and can it coexist with legacy service assurance applications? Absolutely. See, our products are basically microservices based, which makes them extremely adaptive and flexible to be integrated with legacy systems. Uh, our interfaces are basically API and we use open interfaces that makes it extremely easy for us to work with Bromfield operators who actually have their own software. They cannot change their software immediately. They may need us to integrate our solutions slowly. Uh, so, you know, the architecture of our products itself, because they are cloud native, as well as cloud agnostic, it makes it extremely easy for us to offer our products, not just for greenfield operators, but also brownfield operators. And we have done this to many of our clients right now, and they are extremely happy. And the results have been extremely promising. And uh, we are making more and more changes so that the integration can be automated, as well as it becomes more and more faster. That's good to hear. So, Nareen, let me ask you, what comes next? There is a lot in the pipeline, Guy. You know, we recently launched our SimOps uh, service assurance solution, and very soon we'll be launching our end-to-end -end site build and site management solution, which is called SimBuild. Again, this is a group of products that are mostly, they are, they are basically cloud native and microservices based. And uh, we have automated all the workflows and processes that helps people in designing their sites, ordering, warehouse management, site commissioning, and so on. All these things have been, you know, extremely automated end to end. So the solution basically removes the manual effort uh, through its automated workflows by drastically reducing the time to build a network. Now, as I said, you know, there are there is a planning stage, there is a building stage, there is an operating stage, and then there is uh, a management stage. 
uh, I think this site building stage is extremely important. Uh, so we have automated most of the workflows and you know it has drastically reduced. And this is one of the reasons why you know Rock 10 Mobile was launched within 18 months. The automation in the planning, building, as well as you know uh, operation stage that we have integrated made it extremely easy uh, for us to achieve that you know biggest achievement in the recent times in the telecom industry in 18 months. Thank you, Nareen. Now you've talked to us about service assurance, but what else are you working on? So I feel that we are just getting started, Guy. Uh, the goal is to achieve autonomous networks in our advanced SIM world version. Uh, we are working towards it. Our AI and ML solutions are uh, extremely advanced. The teams are working towards algorithms that basically you know, allows networks to identify, detect, and resolve issues automatically without any human intervention. And even when they occur, you know, they want to resolve them in an automatic manner at a very, very high speed. So uh, the goal is to basically reduce cost for the carriers, uh, make things much faster, and create a platform that allows the telco networks to transform very, very quickly. You know, we are in 5G right now, maybe 6G, 7G. The future looks very, very bright. And uh, personally, you know, I, I will continue to work to make our networks more and more intelligent with our products. Uh, this basically, you know, our vision is to basically connect the entire world. You know, there is there is there is a lot to be connected, and uh, making intelligent networks is the most critical task in making that happen. So, super excited for what's uh, uh, coming next. Excellent. Well, we must leave it there. Nareen, thank you so much for taking the time to join us today. And for more information on Rakuten Symphony and its service assurance solution, just follow the links in the text below this video. For now, though, thank you for watching and goodbye.